Hey, morning. So today we are going to see if this tiny, 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 super tiny and super cute DJI Osmo Pocket is good enough for motor vlogging or not. And what are the main things which you normally concentrate on when you are motor vlogging? Like field of view, audio quality, video quality, portability, image stabilization and mounting flexibility. So let's just ride and discuss about each point in details. So first talking about the field of view, the Osmo Pocket field of view is just somewhere around uh, 75 degrees like 28 millimeters fixed lens while the GoPro is like wide, super wide. So this Osmo Pocket is not that wide, you can see the video as well. This is the video feed from Osmo Pocket and this is the video feed from GoPro. So basically if you are planning to do some videos keeping the Osmo Pocket on your helmet or the chest, it's not wide enough and you cannot have any kind of videos as such. And now talking about the audio quality. Audio quality from the Osmo Pocket is kind of acceptable not as good as gopro 7 but yeah it's good enough for vlogging and regular videos but if you're planning to do some videos trying to capture the sound of the bike uh, it's blah so here is the footage of the osmo pocket with the audio right from osmo pocket And here is the footage with the Osmo Pocket footage with the GoPro audio. So you can see that there is a lot of difference, right? So audio quality is fair enough for voice, vlogging, but not that great for bike sounds or motorcycle sounds. Now coming to video quality, so Osmo Pocket video quality is like BAM this is amazing, this looks so cinematic and it's maybe 10 times 20 times better than GoPro's compression ratio because GoPro just shoots somewhere around 60 Mbps data bitrate while the Osmo Pocket does 4K 60 linear mode 28 mm nice cinematic at 100 Mbps bitrate that is crazy nice that's something like Mavic 1 Pro which we always used to love it for years so video quality no comparison Osmo Pocket wins it when it comes to video quality now coming to portability Osmo Pocket is super tiny super 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 tiny it's so small you can easily fit in your pocket jacket pocket riding pant pocket anywhere you like you can have a lot of b-rolls nice shorts slider shorts gimbal shorts FOB shorts, POV shorts, so you can do a lot of things with the Osmo Pocket and it's so portable you can carry anywhere you like it just almost the size of a uh, I would say it's somewhere the same size as GoPro maybe just tall now coming to stabilization so this Osmo Pocket has a inbuilt gimbal so basically when it comes to stabilization you don't have to worry at all because all of your footages are going to look cinematic super 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 stable without any kind of shaky footage while GoPro or any of those action cameras do not have this gimbal stabilization so when it comes to stabilization Osmo Pocket almost does stellar job now coming to mounting flexibility so this thing the mounting the Osmo Pocket to your motorcycle or your body is a bit tricky I'll be doing a separate video showing a lot of mounting points so you got to wait for that video so basically it's not that easy like GoPro just go ahead and buy a mount and mount it on it's not going to happen with Osmo Pocket it's tricky and you need to do it right or you're going to lose your Osmo Pocket so this is the footage right from Osmo Pocket you can see that the 28mm looks a bit cramped for vlogging but completely fine if you are motor vlogging and you want to speak on the camera Osmo Pocket does the job but because GoPro linear mode is the only good mode which you can use for vlogging while the Osmo Pocket, the fixed mode, fixed 28mm absolutely going to work for this headshots, stock shots, vlogging shots 
going to do the job. This video is right from the Osmo Pocket. You can see the field of view and the audio. So audio is not that great, but yeah, it's completely fine if you're motor vlogging and just using for random run and gun. Now talking about the pros, the first is anything you shoot with the Osmo Pocket absolutely looks cinematic and the reason is the fixed 28 mm absolutely nice and the second is it can act as a gyro cam so just put a chest mount put the osmo pocket right over here get on the twisty roads or on the track it's going to look lovely and the third is the image quality is much much better than gopro 7 6 5 anything you call it for so because the reason is the 100 mbps bitrate at 4k 60 fps absolutely makes it nice to grade it in the post and the image quality spot on now the cons, there is a lot to speak. First, the audio quality. Audio is pretty bad. Second, the gimbal keeps on sliding off its horizon while you are riding. Third, the gimbal is so delicate you can easily break it at high speeds. Fourth, it's not waterproof, it's not sock proof, you cannot use it in the rain. Fifth, the narrow field of view, it's so narrow you cannot use it for your riding anywhere you mount it's not going to look nice because the field of view is just 28 mm less than maybe 65 degrees while the gopro is like 120 degrees super huge so this cannot be used for motor vlogging again the mounting position is tricky you can easily break it if you are not using the right mount so kind of a lot of cons as compared to the pros which is just like three points i know many of you are going to ask about is the Osmo Pocket is a nice replacement for GoPro for motor vlogging? No, absolutely no. I mean, meh. It's not at all a motor vlogging camera. It's a B-roll camera. It's a talk headshot camera. It's a vlogging camera. It's not at all a motor vlogging camera. So, no way. It's a replacement for your GoPro. Maybe if you have the money, keep both of them. Use the Osmo Pocket for the B-roll and the videos, footages, and just use the GoPro for the action pov shots or the motor vlogging i mean those helmet chin mount forward mount chest mount any of those shots you can get it with the gopro osmo pocket is not going to replace it so that's all about if you can use the dj osmo pocket for motor vlogging or not and it's a big no no way you should be using it just use it for your b-roll camera or the main video camera not as a motor vlogging camera of course so if you're still convinced about getting it because the image quality is so nice and neat I have placed the link below in the video description. Go ahead and buy it. Happy shopping. If you have got any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated. I will see you in my next video.